And what we're covering for you today, a resource fair in Lakeside. They're trying to provide essential services to people in need. CBS 8's Chris Grow is live at this fair with more on this event. This is a, a big deal for a lot of folks here, Chris. And I think this is a big deal for a lot of people within this, again, the homeless community, those who are un unfortunately unsheltered because this is providing them with access to a lot of things that we take for granted. Things like socks, a warm coat since it's been cold outside, access to resources like Narcan. Uh, obviously, we know that drug addiction is prevalent within the homeless community as well, too, trying to help make sure that lives are saved, but also trying to make sure that people don't have as many barriers in front of them to get out of homelessness. And what I mean by that is inside the building, outside where a lot of those resources are being provided, such as food, uh, clothing, as well as access to showers, there's a court inside. There's actually a judge. There's representatives from the district attorney's office, as well as the public defender's office, helping people either settle minor tickets that prevent them from getting IDs or looking at minor offenses that may have gotten a warrant issued for them and trying to settle things. So again, these are things that could prevent someone from getting a license, getting an ID, which then prevents them from getting a job or a place to stay. And it's that trickle down effect. But now what they're trying to do is reverse that stream, so to speak, right? So get easy access to people, get a court inside so that they can remove those barriers and find a way outside of homelessness. And I think it's one of these things where we now realize we can do it. You know, everybody's like, we, you can actually have court in the community. You can actually clear things remotely. Um, we've proven that we can do that. And that makes it so that people that might have been scared to come to court because they knew they had that warrant, right? Now we're coming to them and saying, you know what? We're going to come to you and help you. We'll take the step, then you take a step, and then we can both continue on that positive trajectory together. Again, that gentleman there from the public defender's office speaking about the work that they're doing in the community as well, too, as part of our conversation. Again, saying that now outreach from the public defender's office, again, trying to clear those minor offenses, those minor tickets to help people get that chance at a start to get out of homelessness. We also know, again, the district attorney's office was here. Uh, district attorney Summer Stefan was present as well, too. Again, helping people clear those legal battles, but also providing those resources that so many of them need. Reporting in Lakes Adam, Chris Grow for CBS 8.